To cast a gradient gel for the Protean 2 XL cell, use the model 485 gradient former. The setup of the gradient former requires that the valve stem be closed, a stopcock is inserted into the outlet on the chamber, tubing is attached to the stopcock, and another stopcock with a gradient pouring needle is attached to the end of the tubing. The needle must have a small enough diameter to fit into the filling port under the casting stand. After assembling the gel sandwiches and securing them in the casting stand, turn the casting stand on its sides, locate the filling port on the bottom directly under the space in one of the sandwiches, and insert the needle through the foam gasket. Set the casting stand on a raised level surface to allow room for the needle and tubing assembly to hang from the bottom of the stand. Adjust the needle so that it protrudes only about 2 mm into the sandwich. Place the gradient former on a stir plate that sits on a raised platform so that the former is above the top of the gel sandwich. This creates a hydrostatic head large enough to pour the gels within 10 minutes from the time the initiators are added to the light solution. To create uniform gradients, all of the acrylamide must be in the gel sandwich before polymerization begins. Place a stir bar in the chamber labeled light. Add APS and Temid to your degassed light and heavy monomer solutions at this point. Monomer solutions should be made according to the gradient gel percentages desired and amount of solution required. Please see your manual for detailed recipes. In this video, we have artificially colored the heavy solution blue so that you will be able to see the gradient forming. Be aware that your heavy solution should not be blue. Make sure to swirl the solutions to ensure the initiators are evenly incorporated into the monomer solutions. You now have about 10 minutes to complete the rest of the casting before the acrylamide begins to polymerize. Making sure that the valve stem is closed, pour the light solution into the chamber labeled light and the heavy solution into the chamber labeled heavy. Start the stir plate and adjust the speed so that you get good mixing. Quickly open the stopcock and the valve stem. The acrylamide will flow through the tubing and needle to the gel sandwich. Do not allow air bubbles to enter the gel. You can see that the finished gel is lighter in color on the top and gradually gets darker toward the bottom, showing that a gradient has been formed. Once again, we artificially colored the heavy solution blue so your gel will be clear. If using an IPG comb, the level of the acrylamide should reach the top of the short plate. The IPG comb has two sides, one with a reference well for standards and one without. The side without the standard lane allows for commercially available 18 cm strips to be used without trimming. The side with the end reference well allows standards to be run alongside your sample, but an 18 cm IPG strip will need to be trimmed to fit into the smaller prep well. Insert the IPG comb on the determined side at an angle to prevent the formation of bubbles. If using an overlay, the acrylamide level should be approximately 5 mm from the top of the short plate to leave enough space for an IPG strip. If using water for the overlay, carefully apply the water to prevent mixing with the acrylamide. Not as much care needs to be used if using water-saturated butanol or TMO alcohol.
After 10 minutes, withdraw the needle from the gasket and immediately clean the gradient former tubing and needle by pumping distilled water through them. Let the gel polymerize completely.